listed as the number three on the depth chart not that long ago. Highsmith does have an injury to his throwing hands, but there was also speculation that he might not be playing simply because Miami wanted to save his redshirt year and maybe switch him over to defense next season. Who knows? So we'll see if Highsmith might play in the second half. Torrey Mack to bring it back from the goal line. As Virginia opens up the second half with the football, and they'll start at their own 16-yard line as we take a look back at our Liberty Mutual Drive recap. Draw play to Jones. Not much there. Out to the 16-yard line. Ryan Hill made the stop. Responsibilities as well. The screenplay caught by Duntrell Inman, but Virginia's going to have to punt it away. Yeah, and, and you're right. I mean, there are some of things that you don't want to have to deal with as a head coach, but he's done a great job in that respect. Should be very good field position for the Canes. Cooper makes the catch on the punt at midfield. Brought down by Jared Dietrich. And now the question for Mike Spencer Whipple threw a couple of interceptions into the first half. And it looks like they may... Go all the way down to the fourth string on the quarterback depth chart. Stephen Morris, true freshman from Miami, is going to take over here in the second half. They've got Highsmith, Whipple, and Morris all in uniform. And Morris didn't even appear on the depth chart this week. But the true freshman takes over, and he'll find Hankerson. How about this move by Randy Shaw? <laughs> Wow. Well, certainly Mark Whipple looked a little uh, shaky in the first half, and I think that Randy Shannon and Coach Whipple said, you know, maybe our best bet uh, is Stephen Morris. And certainly a true freshman, this is a difficult position for anybody, but as a true freshman to come in and, lay, come in and lead the Hurricanes on the road. Good throw to the sideline, though, by Morris, but it's out of bounds and incomplete intended for LaRon Bird. Well, this is a tough set of circumstances, not only for Mark Whipple, because now he's benching his son, Spencer, in favor of a true freshman who's fourth on the depth chart at quarterback and announced to come on the road down two touchdowns. Randy Shannon must have seen something, and, and the coaching staff must see something in Stephen Morris to know that he would be okay in this situation. That last throw, you certainly saw the arm strength, but it's what's going on inside his head. Is he able to handle this situation? Showing some composure on the rollout here to the sideline. And it looks like he's got a completion to Aldarius Johnson. Well shy of the first down. No field, you don't have to win it yourself. Wobbly kick. And Perry Jones will let bounce behind him, and it floats into the end zone. So Bosher can't pin Virginia deep. A true freshman, potentially the rest of the way at quarterback for Miami, down two touchdowns. And fake. Flicks one down the sideline, wide open is Chris Bird. And he's got the Virginia Cavaliers to be in business. We'll try to do that with Payne here. And he pounds his way down to about the 46 yard line as we go back to Reese Davis. 14 to nothing early on in the third quarter. And the Cavaliers driving again. Right up the middle goes Payne. Tripped up at the 45, gets down to about the 44 yard line. Inman. A bullet thrown by Verica. Great timing as well. Big uh, third down conversion for the Cavs. Verica. Play action fake. Coulter Phillips. Nice juke made by Perry Jones. He's got a first down to the 20 yard line, but a flag comes out. Flag thrown right. about five yards on the play. Finding a crease, same way as Jones. He's got the first down again. Right back where he went out of bounds a moment ago at the 20 yard line. <laughs> That's just the way they drew it out. Empty backfield on first and 10 at the 20. Verica, the quick hitter. Underneath to Phillips, incomplete. I don't think that of the halftime without their quarterback. And off 
to Payne. He leaps inside the 15 yard line, tripped up by Olivier Vernon. Bob Schusen alongside Brian Greasy. College football presented by Cars.com here on ESPN. Miami without their quarterback, Ja'Cory Harris, throws an interception and gets laid out on a big hit by John Kevin Dulce. Three different quarterbacks have now played, including the true freshman Stephen Morris, who started off the second half after a couple of interceptions were thrown by Spencer Whipple before halftime. So Randy Shannon has gone four deep technically on the depth chart. That quarterback down two touchdowns to an 0-3 Virginia team in the ACC. Big third down here. Verica throws it away. That's not a bad play by the quarterback of Randolph. From 32 yards out to try and stretch the lead to three scores. And he's got it. And Mike London and Bill Lazor might be thinking, we can play this game for the next 22 minutes. Miami playing without their starting quarterback. And they have theoretically gone four deep on the depth chart to a true freshman who will try and take him the rest of the way. Ja'Cory Harris knocked out of the game, and that ball goes out of bounds to the seven-yard line. Now it hit a Miami player. So that is where Miami's going to start. I'm not sure that the true freshman return man, Storm Johnson, realized that the ball was tipped. He let it go out of bounds, thinking, hey, we'll get the ball at the 40-yard line, except... It had already made contact with a Miami player up near midfield. Yeah, and another bad break for the Hurricanes. I mean, I don't know that the Johnson had a chance to get that ball before it went out of bounds. It was hot, but uh, clearly it hit the uh, hit the up man right off the bat and then went out of bounds. So another, another tough start on their own seven-yard line for their true freshman, Stephen Morris. Sweep to Barry. And he is brought down to about the 14. Barry up the middle for a first down for Miami after the 20 yard line. It's pretty good company if you're Mike London. Yeah, it's great company. And, uh, you know, it, it, we had an enjoyable visit with uh, Coach London yesterday and talking about his uh, approach to turning this program around and, and making his players believe that they can win every time they go out on the field. A lot of people didn't give him an opportunity to, to compete in this game, but they're, they're there right now. Morris, the true freshman, goes for the home run. Incomplete. Overthrew Travis Benjamin. That's not easy to do with the speed that Benjamin plays, and you'll be in this game. A pull to the near side. Nice cutback by Mike James, and it looks like he's got a first down out across the 30 to the 31 yards. Some big guys that can block. And now Miami goes up tempo a bit. Uh, Stephen Morris had them right back at the line. Cam Johnson got a hand on it. Now, again, Morris is a true freshman, but he was an early enrollee, so he was there for spring practice with Miami. And his last couple of years in high school, as a junior and a senior combined, threw 41 touchdown passes against 15 total interceptions. So He's been with this team longer in terms of practice than a true freshman might have normally been. Although a false start here will cost the Canes five. Well, Reese, that might be the most impressive win that Miami has this season. They killed Pitt earlier this year, 31-3, but struggling here against Virginia. Slap behind Hankerson, and it's incomplete. Again, not a lot of time to practice this route between Morris and Hankerson, and Morris just throws that ball a little bit behind Hankerson. Hankerson could help him a little bit there, too, by not running into that zone. When you see the linebacker in there, you want to settle down on that slam route. Hankerson a little bit too fast inside. Out of the gun on third and 15. Tries to escape the rush. Throws it up for grabs in the middle of the field. And it's incomplete. Cam Johnson brought pressure. It may have been intended for Hankerson, but that was a dangerous throw by the true freshman. Bonnie, you got to know you're in a tough situation. Third down and 15. And you got the inside move, and Cam Johnson was in high pursuit. Right here, you got to throw the football away. That is not a high percentage throw, but as a young quarterback, you, those are things you learn, and Mark Whipple is not a happy camper right now. He's in a tough situation. 
Wobbly kick and a short one from Bosher. Minifield lets it bounce. What a break from Miami. That costs Virginia somewhere between 15 and 20 yards of field position. It turns out to be a 61 yard punt by Matt Bosher. That is a mistake by the junior return man. Calls for the fair catch and lost it. At one Eastern, three possession lead for Virginia. And they start again inside their own 10 yard line. Back to the ground and Keith Payne. And good position, but right here, Miami's got to force a turnover and get some momentum back in this game. Toss sweep to Payne. Close to a first down. To me, Brian, you just mentioned it. The only way Miami wins this game is instead they'll go to the horse, and it's Keith Payne. He's got a first down. No problem. Out close to the 30-yard line. <laughs> And he comes up a little bit hobbled as he comes off to the sideline. So they're on defense. They did Mark Jones down about a foot shy of a first down. So Verica on second down tries to throw for it, and it's bobbled and dropped by Mathis. We'll check back with the studio now. Andrew Davis. <laughs> Thanks, Ritz. That's tough. Third down, handoff to Payne. And he works his way for the first down out across the 40-yard line to about the 41. Yeah, for Derek Dooley, watching the way the volunteers are downs of learning with a young quarterback. Virginia tries to continue to pound away at the clock with their 255-pound hammer, Keith Payne. He is gang tackled. Very successful on the ground. Slant bobbled and dropped by Dontrell Inman. Bit of a low throw from Verica. That helps Miami. Four-man rush on third and ten. Verica, high throw over the middle, and it's intercepted by Colin McCarthy. Just what the Canes needed on defense. They've got it in plus territory. The short field with 1.43 to go in the third quarter. That's just what the doctor ordered for Randy Shannon, but he tried to get the ball down the field. He got pressure on the left side, tried to squeeze that ball in, and McCarthy, the linebacker, the senior, number 44, baited him, but I think the pressure may have affected, it looks like Forston, just the presence of Forston coming on the inside move affected Verica, but either way, an ill-advised throw downfield by Mark Verica gives the Hurricanes a little chance. What can Miami do with it? Backwards pass thrown, and an option pass down the field from Cooper. Stephen Morris tried some trick was open on that play, just tried to force it. Dankerson inside the 20, out of bounds at the 15-yard line. Maybe you start to send Stephen Morris getting a little confidence. Well, that's the first throw that we've seen from him that's been on the mark and standing in the pocket and delivering, reading the defense, throwing that speed out. It's a good sign. Now they go up tempo. Morris, back right corner of the end zone, a jump ball. Minifield's got it in his hands. Is it an interception? Virginia football. Another pick for Minifield. By Chase Minifield. And he had great position on Benjamin. We go back. Again, he has a foot inbounds, and he controls that ball to the ground, but he's in great position. He was looking back to the court. So after the turnover, Verica has it back. Right back to the air, and Chris Bird for seven yards. Who knows what kind of a shakeup we could see based on what we see the rest of the day. Up the middle, Perry Jones. Another first down for Virginia, and that'll take us to the end. Virginia's 0-3 in the ACC Coastal Division against number 22 at home. They knocked out Ja'Cory Harris, and they've got a three-score lead heading to the fourth.